right underneath this like so. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hey man, if you stopping through for the first time or for whatever reason, you've been watching my videos and you just haven't done it yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button for me. Oh, what's that? What's that, what's that I hear? You wanna be a part of the Real Deal Army? Hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Cause if you do that, you'll be notified every time I drop a video. Now then, we got Exodia here, you know, star of the show. If you guys go back and watch my last video, I took the tire stickers off of Exodia and again if you go back and watch the last video you'll see why but that's not what this video is talking about y'all see the title y'all see the thumbnail y'all know what's about to go down I've been thinking about doing this for a very very long time and I've just been kind of prolonging it seeing how long I could keep it but today's the day I'm, I'm just gonna get started I'm about to try to unwrap Exodia because I kind of miss how she looks stock and I want to take my car into a different direction and there was a couple factors that played into you know me thinking in this number one my car was starting to look like a hot wheel ain't nothing wrong with that at all i've seen way crazier looking chargers with way crazier wraps and wheels and tire stickers and colors and all that kind of stuff but this is my daily and i don't like all that attention just on a day-to-day -day basis i like to have a hard whip no question but some of the attention that this shit brought was not good. For example, the other day I was going to get my, my hair did and shit. And when I was riding down there, it was a cop that already had somebody pulled over. And they were like kind of leaning in their window, like had their arms on their window and shit. And as I was riding by, he stopped talking to them completely and followed my shit the whole way. And then I parked, got out, went to go get my hair done. But he stopped me before I could even get in the building. He like, hey, come here. Like your car, but it's loud. So if you one of them motherfuckers that be speeding up and down here, just know we sitting here. I'm like, thanks, bro, but I don't live here. Just an example. I just don't like that type of attention. Now, the regular attention, like when I'm getting gas or just on the road, that's cool. But y'all know the type of attention I'm talking about that I'm trying to avoid getting. So that was one thing. I've seen a couple people with my color, maybe not necessarily my trim, but I've seen a couple people with my color that's starting to do the tire stickers and, you know, doing the red on the granite and stuff like that. And I'm not saying, you know, I'm the first nigga ever to do it, but I'm also the type of person where once something gets too popular, I just kind of don't want it no more if that makes sense and then last but not least and last but not least the last reason why i want to unwrap exodia is because i kind of want a show car instead of a hot wheel like the hot wheel is like you know the loud the crazy the you know all of that kind of stuff the tire stickers the whether you do stripes or you do a whole wrap or you know you do some loud colors and all that i just want you know what i'm saying that show car where it's like you know you kept it in good condition and all that there's a bunch of stuff on the car i have to work on for example getting the rest of the tire stickers off my tire which these have left my tires looking pretty ugly and then like replacing this because this has been missing an r for a minute and then this stuff over by the scat pack b like i want to get my car back looking to how she was when i got her and to do that i gotta unwrap her so that's what we're gonna be doing in this video today and i know a lot of people might be like damn rdl you just put the pinstripes on her and all that i like you don't like it no that's not what i'm saying at all i think exodia looks beautiful like especially with the pinstripes like it really um helps separate and you can see the the stripes better and stuff like that with these here don't get me wrong i like them but it's just time for me to go in another direction with it um i kind of want to just like black it out or make it as dark as possible i might come black hood carbon fiber hood we don't know we but what i do know is i'm about to have her looking real good so i'm about to start trying to take the wrap off i don't know how difficult this is going to be i saw a tall guy try to take his wrap off um when reflection detail did his hellcat and he said it was real difficult but i don't think the people i went to put in that much effort into putting my wrap on like i don't think it was a crazy three ceramic type wrap material and then they put the ceramic coating on top and all that i don't think they did all that and if we can just go over like i see right here is an area i could start trying to peel this up at same with like over here it's got like that's a rock chip and stuff like that rock chips down here so it'll probably be really difficult but i don't think it'll be the hardest thing in the world if you know what i mean I try to just you know take this off and even if i don't finish today i'm gonna get started today i'll probably finish tomorrow or something but yeah yeah, let's go ahead and start with the unwrapping process i'm gonna start with the pinstripes because i feel like those are going to be easier to take off so let's go ahead and do that yeah i'm gonna just come under here and then boom 
pinstripe number one. I'm gonna pop the hood actually. All right, yeah, that's better. That way I can just get right underneath this like so. Boom. And there you have it. We getting the process started. So now what I'm gonna do, cause what I wanna do is really take my time and get the wrap off, but I wanna still do it on camera as much as possible. So since these pinstripes are pretty easy and y'all just see me take them two off, I'm about to take the rest of the pinstripes off the car and then I'll come back and try to take the red off. And then boom, here we are, all of the carbon fiber at least for the pinstripes is off exodia and just looking at her like without them uh she looks kind of naked like i'm not gonna lie like i kind of already got used to seeing exodia with the pinstripes on her so seeing them with them off is gonna be like kind of weird now as y'all can see my car is dirty like you can see this is when it was clean from when i put these on and this is my car now i'm gonna definitely wash my car um after i get everything off but this is the carbon fiber. And so while I was peeling that up, I seen this corner of the wrap back here was coming up. So I figured this would be a perfect place to start to taking this red off. So let's just go ahead and peel. I'm trying to get it so it all comes up at once and I don't have to break my fucking fingers up because trying to like chip off that carbon fiber with my nails already was a lot. Let's see. See, this is what I didn't want to happen right here. This this rippage, like, nah. Come on. Why is my car scratched right here? What the fuck? Well, I don't know. I thought my car was scratched right here for a second, but like scratching it like this is coming off. It might just be glue or like some shit that was underneath the wrap or something. Anyway. Ooh. So this is not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. However, this shit ain't easy. Ooh, yeah, about stuff like this is gonna blow me. Hey, I'm really trying to like trying to rip this off. Like I'm, I'm. You see the triceps? I'm trying to put some goddamn muscle in this. But woo wee mama. And there you have it, Zodia is getting unwrapped. And this was the first piece. Alrighty, we on the right track. I just pulled this uh, right stripe up. I'm keeping all the trash over there. Yeah, man, I'm starting to starting to get everything off of her. She's starting to look like the OG Exodia that I remember when I went over to Michigan and got her and stuff, man. It is little stuff like deep in here. I don't know how I'm about to get this out, but I'll figure it out. And with that being said, this is where I'm going to end the video. I'll probably end up putting a picture of what she looks like when I'm all done in here at the end of the video. It's a little late and I don't know if the sun's going to be up when I'm done, but I'm confident I can get everything off tonight, if you know what I mean. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me interrupt you there, my brother. Me again. As you can see, Exodia is back in her purest form. Stock Exodia. Not everything, but you know. Stock Exodia with no wrapper, none like that on it. Y'all see the top of the trunk. Y'all see the top. I took the plate off and everything. I got every little piece off. And I'm not gonna lie, I like the way she looks. I'm gonna have to change this badge as much as I like it. And I might have to go with a different color theme for you know my logos and stuff but exodia surely does look good so i'm sorry i had to cut myself off because i was moving pretty quick and i still got a whole bunch of daylight and i just wanted to show y'all how good my baby look man but yeah back to whatever it was i was saying appreciate y'all for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a thumbs up for me if you want to see more videos like this more videos from the channel in general more videos about my baby exodia and everything i do to her then make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you can be notified whenever i post new content stay ready so you ain't got to get ready people it was your boy rdl and i'm out of here man peace hey.